look i give you five tips to protect your heart from the bad wrong guys here the first the married guy yes oh my gosh so how come you are going to protect yourself <laughs> I cannot, Daniela, hold on because I feel so attracted to him, sexually attraction, and he promised me he'll leave his wife. Oh, oh, oh. So what to do? You have to find one person interesting to go out. Invest in your time in a good guy. That good guy probably you are not crazy sexual attracted to him. Why? Because, look, that is a need, a fantasy, that the sex will last forever. And you mix it, the emotion, sex and love, it's the same. So I know I love the married guy, I just have to wait for him. Not with me. With me, you're going to learn behavioral mentally and psychological how come to keep your interest in the nice guy okay so the second tip is hey not your boss no 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 your boss has is already the leader of the company that's it do not mix it things like boss father man no so you have to see yourself like hey i'm self-developing i am a leader of my career and i i learned it from my boss but i do not mix it feelings you understand that third tip you are going to know your self-worth how is that is my self-worth how much money i'm making no it's how if I'm heavy weight, overweight, or if I'm not educated, or depends of where I, I grow, so my family background. No, your self worth it is your essence. It is exactly your th the way that you think, your behavior, and included memories. And that's okay, your experience. So it's beyond your body, your face, your age, your race. It's beyond is expanding and you are learning the process so that is self-worthy and now be rational so being rational is about feeling attracted for the nice guy the good guy okay uh also look yes he is making good money uh he can be a good provider be more rational than, oh my gosh, is he that tall? Is he that young? Is he that hot? You know, oh my gosh, he has all that. He went to Harvard. That is not important. The important is how much, it is how much money he's bring to the table, but also the purpose and how respectful the relationship will be. Next one. Things that are not ending here. The fifth tip is, hey, you already have another fulfilled relationship. For example, with a parent, with a sibling, with a neighbor, with a good friend. It's not like everything is one person. You know, the person of interest cannot carry all that have responsibility to love yourself unconditionally, be your best friend, be your partner, be your sexual partner, um, be your, the father of your children. Hey, you also had a life before and you have a life and you are committed for different kinds of, of uh, relationships. So that's it. Please leave me a comment.